All right, let's jump to like the different phases of hepatitis. Tell me what the different phases are. The pre-icteric, icteric, post-icteric. Good. Perfect. I remember that. I haven't looked at hepatitis for Pre-icteric, icteric, post-icteric. <laughs> I can't remember if he was supposed to go with me or with Tessa. I think he might have been signed up for me for yesterday, so I don't remember. All right, so how long are each of these phases supposed to last? I can't remember, to 21. Yep, 1 to 21 days. Get it. I have to save, but I have a slide right now. <laughs> what about Ictric? And post ictric? Seven, seven months, two to four months. Good. So if you can just remember, one to 21 days is kind of just the weird one, but then three weeks, three months, kind of the averages for each. Okay. Just easier on numbers. You don't have to know like specific, like one to 21 days. Oh, if it's 23 days, then we're definitely an ictric. You know, it's yeah. signs and symptoms that really determine what phase we're in. So let's look at some signs and symptoms. Um, what would be pre-ictric? Um, anorexia, nausea, flu-like. Yep, good, flu-like symptoms. Flu-like, we might have malaise, which, what's malaise? The, that's the general tired. Right? Yep, malaise is kinda just, they feel like crap all over. Arthralgias. Arthralgia is just a joint pain. They could have some specific right upper quadrant pain, which is where the liver is. Bad so, mm -hmm. um, this is kind of like the phase that's kind of scary because they think that they just are sick, like with the flu or something like that, but they're most infectious. So they're most contagious, that's a better word. Is this for all the hepatitis? Yep. There's so many hepatitis. Uh huh. With um, the specific, like A, B, and C, those are the only ones that you need to know. Don't worry about D, B, F, Z, whatever, you know, okay. those don't really matter. Okay. What about ictric? So this is where you start having like the liver symptoms, I think. Mm -hmm. Jaundice and the bilirubin in the urine. And Good. So what's my urine going to look like with the bilirubin in it? Dark. Good. And then the light stools. But they get itchy. Yep. What's the name for that? Pruritus. Good. Is it P-R? Pruritus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Me too. So icteric is just another word for jaundice. So that's kind of how you remember it. Pre-icteric is the phase where we don't have jaundice yet. Icteric is the phase where we've got like jaundice. And then post-icteric is when the jaundice is starting to kind of fade away. I think of icteric as like the liver, the liver stage. Mm-hmm. Because it has all the liver symptoms. Yep. So why do we have pruritus? Bile salts. Good. So bile salts aren't being broken down in the liver and they get deposited under the skin and that's what causes the itchy skin. So what are we going to do for somebody with pruritus? Uh, maybe give them like mittens or something so they don't scratch like, away their scratch skin. Their skin off. Mm -hmm. and Good. Like, lotion. Yeah, help. Would lotion help with that? Uh huh. It would help a little bit, but keep in mind that this is all over their entire skin. Yeah, and so. You can't really lotion them up every five minutes for all yeah. everywhere, so. What would be the best thing to do? Hello. Hey, hey, sorry. You're good. Keeping, yeah, keep them cool, isn't it? Good, well, yeah. You want to keep them cool, not warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you think, like, are you more itchy when you're hot or when you're cold? Hot. Definitely when you're hot. Mm -hmm. We're just going over the stages of hepatitis right now. Perfect. So. Okay.
Okay, is that everything for Icteric? I think that that's the majority of. <laughs> All right, so post icteric now. Let's go over that. What is the main symptom with post icteric? Fatigue. Get tired. Yeah, tired. Fatigue. Fatigued. These people have just, their liver kind of just beat them up and they're really exhausted. Um, the liver's starting to come back um, to full function. But we want to be careful with these patients not to tip them into chronic um, hepatitis where it just like nothing is going to help them get better. Um, and chronic hepatitis can actually lead to cirrhosis. So we want to be careful in this stage. Isn't it one of the hepatitis is just automatically chronic? Hepatitis C is yeah. considered chronic, but there are some medications that we give um, to hepatitis C patients. So but they don't get like cirrhosis and they don't advance, it, it just kind of stays late. Um, no, it's supposed to cure it, but it's only about 40% of patients that actually get cured from the medications. And so it's kind of like, okay, we'll give you a bunch of these medications and hope that it cures you. So, kind of thing. Usually, you can, usually, like, if you take care of it, I guess, technically, you can, like, keep it at a, not a latent, Hepatitis C, but uh, stable. stable. There we go. That's the word. Stable hepatitis. <laughs>